Do I have to repeat myself again? I told you, I told you, it depends on, on Allah. So everything depends on Allah orders. You know, you cannot do anything without uh, Allah order. Allah ordered for Muhammad to look at married women. What are you talking about? This is a married woman. He's, they're saying there, if a, the Prophet, he look at the woman and he like her, her husband had to divorce her. So the Prophet can have her. Fire girl, did you read it? Your mind. Convert the passage into English so that I can read it thoroughly because Christian Prince, honestly, uh, you have tendencies to switch things around, you pick and choose, you twist, you add things that aren't there, and um, that's just... You know, how you know I'm adding if you cannot read it even? And you know what, this is your brother, he's a Muslim, let him read it, what's wrong with you? Why Muslims don't want to read it? It's in Arabic, you speak Arabic, you said you don't have a, 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 a Arabic text, I don't believe you. I don't believe you. All of us, we are coming from the Middle East. Number one, the, the, the first thing we do when we get a computer, we install the Arabic text, the Arabic font. All of us. So what you are saying doesn't make sense to me. Secondly, I offer you to send you a screenshot in Arabic so you can read it as it is from the Islamic web page. You reject it. You don't want it. So simply, I can tell that you saw it, you did read it, and you don't dare to read it. Because showing us that your prophet cannot be a good man. I want you please to read to fire. Read. Any woman, the prophet, he see her, it's a must for her husband to divorce her. And the prophet, he can do nukah to her, which means the effort. Does it say that there or no? You're mine. Uh, okay, and who said that? Who said that? Did Allah say that? Okay, so you agreed it's there. This is number one issue. Thank you very much. Everybody, guys, give a rose to Mr. Coulter. We got the first point. It is there. Now, who said that? Ibn al-Arabi. One of the biggest scholars of Islam. And the scholar, not only him, the scholar of Imam al haramain the biggest leader of Imam al haramain who is him? This is the, the cousin of Muhammad himself. So Ibn al-Arabi and the cousin of Muhammad, both of them, they are agreeing about this. And not only that, you can continue, you will see more scholars agreeing. So now, we get you the answer, fire girl. This is your brother, he approved it. It is there. This is the book of Al-Qurtubi. This is your Islamic official website. This is Ibn al-Arabi. He's a big, 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 fat scholar in Islam. It's not me who's saying that. And he's saying even Ibn Abbas agree with that. And even Ibn Abbas, he say that. So now, your mic, don't say I'm adding things, don't say I'm putting things. This is your Islamic books. Any Muslim woman, the Prophet, he see her, he like her, even if she is married. The man, he have to divorce her, and the Prophet, he can have her. Your mic. Okay, um, it's quite obvious that uh, no matter how it's explained to you, no matter how we try to answer you to prove you wrong, you have it set in your mind. You don't want it to change. If where is the, where is the answer to explain to me what a man looking at a married woman, her husband he had to divorce her. To explain to me what, guys, what Jesus he said if somebody he wished to have a woman she is not his, what he committed. He's an adulterer, just for wishing her. This is in here a prophet of God. He is looking at married women. If he like her, her husband, he have to divorce her. So he can have her. What do you want to explain to me, lady? Explain to the room, not to me, please. You're mine. Okay, well, um, I don't have a reason to lie to you about my computer not being able to read Arabic. So if you are so sure of yourself and you want me to believe you, send me this. You just heard your brother agreed it is there. Shame on you. 
Your brother, he's a Muslim. He was here before you. Yes, he agreed. Your mic, Quarter. Is that there or not? Your mic. Fire girl, listen, if you are putting yourself, it, it's very easy. Give it to any Muslim in your list and he can read it for, for you. A bunch of fat liars and you cannot read it. And your brother himself, he agreed it is there. And you know what? Back to come to the mic and to swear by Allah and by Muhammad and by the Quran. That the page there does not say Number 10, إِذَا وَقَعَ بَصَرَهُ عَلَىٰ إِمْرَأَ وَجَبَ طَلَاقُهَا وَحَلَّ لَهُ نِكَاحُهَا قَالَ إِبْنُ الْعَرَبِي هَكَّذَا قَالَ إِمَامُ الْحَرَمَيْنِ I challenge you both of you to swear that it is not there. And then my, my argument is done. Who am I doing? Mic is open. Oh! Oh, oh shit. I forgot how to read Arabic, actually. I forgot. Show me how to translate it in English, and I will be glad to show you. You see, guys? You don't want to do it, even. You, you know, Quarter, uh, uh, let me tell you something. You can, you can swear lying, don't worry. Chapter 3, verse 28, you can lie. The Prophet, he, he said you can lie in three cases. Lying to your friends, lying to your family and your wife, and lying to your enemy. According to Islam now, I'm your enemy, so you can lie, you can swear by Allah, don't worry, Allah will not burn you anyway. There's no Allah anyway, don't worry. I challenge any Muslim to read it. Any Muslim. I am in here to show everyone how big fat liars the Muslims are. The link is in front of you. And quarter, he speak Arabic. And you speak Arabic. And you want to convince me that you both, you cannot read it. You know what? We can do something. We can take the text and post it in Google Translation. And you will say that what I am saying is it true? Do you accept that, Fire Girl? Your mic? I wouldn't believe you if you told me your nickname. Ah, okay. So now you don't want to, you don't want to try translation no more. You don't accept to copy from go from the, the website and post it in Google. You don't want that no more? So, you don't want it in English, you don't want it in Arabic, you don't want it anyway, right? You might? I do. I do want it in English, but you're stalling. You're not giving it to me, plus you're not even showing me how to convert. Yeah, I, I just want to correct something very quick. Uh, I don't speak Arabic, I speak... I know, you don't speak, you don't speak any language, you know? Actually... You are deaf, you don't hear any even. Right? Uh, fire girl, what do you mean I do not want to show you how to convert it? This is Google Translation. Here we go. Google Translation. Let me post it in the room. And I want everybody in the room to do what I'm going to say. Google Translation. 